super weird lighting situation. All right, whatever. I'm just meant to glow and look like I have lava under my skin. All right, that's fine. Um, anyways, I guess it's fitting because we're doing Saturn and Pisces, and Pisces is kind of metaphysical and far out there. Um, goodness. Um, where to begin? I I really I really like this sign in my personal life. I'm Saturn and Aquarius, the sign right before Saturn and Pisces. And so I have a lot of friends who are a couple years younger than me who have this energy. And it's really cool to see how it manifests in them, um, as well as, you know, the generations before who have this energy. It's, I find it's, I mean, just like any Saturnian or any energy in general, it has its challenges. It has its, what you have to get over to reach the, the higher manifestation, the gift, the reward of this energy. And um, I do find that this is very challenging in one particular aspect. I've, uh, I, I see in a lot of people who have Saturn and Pisces that their dads, considering that Saturn kind of represents the, you know, the more father or authoritarian type figure in a person's life, so it's not necessarily the father, but also, you know, maybe, I don't know, a particularly authoritarian uh, aunt or grandma or whoever. But whoever laid the foundation in a person's life in a very, um, I guess, masculine way, you could say. Uh, they With Saturn and Pisces, I find that either they tend to be... Uh, see, and there's higher and lower orders, so I can't generalize, I can't generalize, but... Unfortunately, I've seen I've been seeing a lot of lower orders of um, of parents who aren't there. You know, fathers that skip out uh, when the kids are young, or even before then, or who aren't there mentally or emotionally. You know, where they're kind of there's some kind of inner uh, emotional complex, and it really restricts the the you know father type figure, and. Uh, and so they're just kind of a little crazy. <laughs> or they're escapist, you know, they, they indulge in drugs and alcohol and just they really go to excess instead of moderation. And that's, it's unfortunate, but um, that's that does seem to be uh, a trend. So I'd love to hear your perspective on this, your experiences, if you have this energy, what, um, you know, what your, your father is like, or father figure, or whatever. Um, there's also the higher order manifestation, and maybe you've experienced this, you know, as well, or instead, which is a father who's very loving, unconditionally loving, very, you know, uh, a little out there, but in a good way, very sweet, they have a good heart, they're very kind, um, and very spiritual as well, and they they look for lessons in life, and meaning, and patterns. Um, I mean, it's really just the, the higher and lower order of Pisces. So, it's very interesting. So, enough about them, my Piscean friend. Let's talk about you. Just like with Saturn and Scorpio, like I just did a video for it, the water and Scorpio signs, their biggest challenge is emotions. Um, wherever Saturn is in our chart, it restricts us. You know, it's our biggest obstacle. And we once we conquer that obstacle, once we... grow past it, we truly learn things that we've needed to learn on a soul level. We truly grow and progress forward, and we never have to learn those lessons again, which is really nice because, you know, lessons can be really hard and really brutal, um, especially if we've spent a lifetime after lifetime of, of running from them and just ah, suffering because we haven't learned. Um, and because we've restricted ourselves, ultimately. You know, if you're in tune with your Saturnian energy, anything is possible. It's your greatest challenge, but it's also your greatest ally. I really do love my Saturn energy and even the opposition it creates and whatnot. It, I've realized now, with time, you know, it's so Saturnian that with time and patience and hard work, anything can be accomplished. It's just so true. And everything gets better with time. You get wiser and more mature and you see things and you understand how things happen and, and why and you just learn exponentially so number one good news you know i mean even if you feel like with your saturn energy it's been really challenging or restrictive and you've experienced some of the lower order saturn and pisces stuff which is running from your emotions um 
fear for emotions, fear for anything that would, you know, challenge you or get outside the box. Um, once you you get over that and, and accomplish that, you're all the stronger for it. And uh, you learn so much and you become so wise. So with time, that's, that's what you really need to do. And because this is a water energy, and especially since it's Saturn and water, it's very important to be patient with yourself. If you know that something's not right, if you feel that something's not right, take solid steps one day at a time. Figure it out one step at a time. And you can you can get past it, you know? I think it's important to incorporate a little bit of Virgo energy into this placement of Pisces. Virgo and Pisces are partner signs. Um, of Virgo energy, of focus, of analysis, of figuring again, out how, why, what. And if you need help, then talk to somebody. In fact, it's really good with this energy to talk to other people. Um, Pisces, I find, learns best when it's swimming. And, you know, when another person's there, Pisces can't help but swim. And so find somebody that contributes good waters, you know. Find somebody that you can swim with that is going to help you show your emotional vulnerability. It's going to help you show your sensitivity and uh, and your challenges with that. Because... It's so ironic. Wherever Saturn is in our chart, it gives us literally our greatest gift and our greatest challenge. We've got to face the challenge first. And the greatest challenge I find with this energy is not facing emotions, is running from your emotions and just being completely out of the loop with how you really feel. Um, I have one sweet, sweet friend of mine who is unfortunately uh, not so sweet sometimes because I feel like uh, this energy is very challenging for her. And she's yet to figure out, uh, she needs a little bit more time to, to figure it out. Just like everyone, you know, uh, how I needed so much time to figure out myself. And of course, it's, it's never like you're done. Like, okay, I've got that done, you know. It's just you make progress. You reach new heights. You go into new depths. And again, you make progress and you explore. And that progress is very real. But there's always more to, to explore. There's always more to learn. And... Um, and so with Siren and Pisces, it's it's really important to, again, delve into your emotions with somebody you trust. If you if you need somebody else there, uh, that's good. I wouldn't say that you need somebody else there necessarily, though. I think it is important to learn things for yourself, and especially when it comes to an introspective emotional nature. Even with your closest friend, there will be some stuff that they won't, they won't get or that gets lost in translation. And... Uh, so in this case, you got to figure out your emotions yourself. You know, it's just like I said in Scorpio. you got to get in there, and it's it's not necessarily pretty, but you definitely heal from it. And I think healing is a key word here. Um, Pisces is the sign of unconditional love, of unconditional compassion for others and acceptance. And when you have Saturn in that particular region of space that influences our Earth in this, in this way, um... When younger, you can restrict your compassion. You can restrict your feelings because they're just too much. You feel like they would overwhelm your life and they would leave you either bedridden or dead or, you know, something that's not desirable. But it is important to let those waters go and to let them flow and to let your emotions just pour out when they need to, you know. I mean, the suitable time and place is good, but... That's less important than making sure that they come out, you know. Um, and I think it is important to have it in a private place, in a place that is secure, that you know that you can be yourself and you won't immediately have to dry up, you know, because somebody enters the room or, or whatever. I think it's very important to, in fact, be very alone and be in, in solitude to figure out your emotional challenges. And when I say emotional challenges, we're talking about stuff that goes back eons, you know, into past lives and, and soul growth and whatnot. And, you know, you've chosen in this life, if you have this energy, to once again be challenged emotionally, to be challenged metaphysically and spiritually, and to to really try and focus on this region of your life, which can, again, wherever Saturn tells us to focus, very often, in fact, almost everyone, in fact, I would say everyone, when we're younger, that's where we go, nope. Not focusing on that? Hell no. Mm -mm. I've got this to do. I've got these nice trines to, to deal with in my life. I have a sweet Jupiter placement. I'm going to just enjoy life. You know, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. 
um, we very much run from our Saturn energy, and this is for everyone, you know, but especially I find with Saturn and Pisces, because Pisces is such a, it, it can be such an escapist energy that, you know, the feeling is, is, well, I'm not going to deal with it until I have to deal with it. And, I mean, I guess that does work, because eventually you do have to deal with it, but if you're aware and you're conscious and you're saying, you know, let's be honest here, I really could be happier I could be more in touch with my emotions I could be doing this I could be doing that but I'm letting fear get in my way I'm letting negativity get in my way I'm absorbing other people's lives and I'm I'm losing myself in the process that's that's a that's a good thing to admit to yourself you know again I'm not saying that's inevitable with this energy but that is the challenge and especially when younger that's that's the big hurdle to get past um and the beautiful thing is this, and I cannot wait to see, especially with my younger uh, friends who have this energy, to see where they go with it. Because with time, I mean, everything blossoms with Saturn. You know, it's it's known as being very cold and restrictive, but it, it truly does give form to the garden that can then grow. And you had to have that form and structure, you know? And uh, with Pisces and Saturn, no matter what the age, the the emotions grow with time and again a very beautiful unconditional compassionate emotion lies with those who have this energy with Pisces energy in general but especially Saturn because Saturn is such a solid placement in fact I think that's the biggest thing is those with this energy feel so much that they turn it off. It's just like they need a switch to turn it off because otherwise it just invades their life and they're just like, wait, what? You know, days pass by and they're just like lost in a haze and it's just like people are just like lights, you know, cars, lights and cars like flying by and you're just like, what is going on? So that's why they restrict emotions. It's a lot easier. It doesn't work though. And again, eventually... Um, unhealthy restriction is meant to explode. It's it's putting undue pressure there. It's it's creating not a good situation. And you know, I mean, everything naturally wants to harmonize and, and work out and balance itself. And the universe naturally wants to balance itself. And so, my point is this: I guess is with the more awareness you cultivate, and especially emotional awareness in your life with this energy, the better and the faster that growth occurs in your life. And you will reach challenges, especially I find with, uh, you know, a father type figure who has so much Pisces themselves, I find with, you know, with the, this energy, or rather the, the parents of, of those who have this energy, have so much Pisces themselves, but they don't know how to express it, or it scares them, you know, they think they're crazy, or they think they're just like out there, and they just can't figure out life, emotions are just so scary for them, you know, they have no frame of reference, um, they can get really challenging for the, the kid who has Saturn and Pisces, and I mean, you know, just like parents do, but especially certain parents more than others, they, they instill their fears into their kids, and, um, I can get in the way, and it can it can get really challenging to see what life's all about, and you know what is possible and what's not possible. So the more you sort out your emotions in relation to others, I think the better, and uh, the healthier. And I I think that goes for everyone, of course, but especially with Saturn and Pisces, it's um it's truly crucial that you align yourself with karma, that you see that you're just meant to embrace that higher self that you are, of that Piscean nature of compassion, of of pure love and bliss, and pure acceptance, you know, even through suffering, in fact, especially through suffering. I think those with Saturn and Pisces are so in tune spiritually that it scares them, you know, just like I said with the emotions, I mean, spiritually as well, it scares them. And they can find the reasons for stuff so easily that it scares them. And I, you know, I said this in the Saturn and Scorpio video. Saturn and water, Saturn is, is karma, fate, life, death, rebirth, reincarnation. Um, and especially along the lines of lessons that we need to learn, you know, 
focusing on our license. I mean, imagine uh, Saturn. It's it's so much pressure that it's actually an oblong shape and it's you know pushing down on the pole. So it's like, and the rings are so ordered and, and crystalline. Um, well, not literally. I think they're ice or something. But that kind of pressure is being put on you spiritually and emotionally. And uh, the healthier you you get in tune with it, the better. You know that pressure will help you, and you'll be able to build with your spirituality. You'll be able to truly face those demons that are so prevalent with those with Saturn and water face those demons of, of emotions I mean I'm sure you'd have with this energy flashes of times that you killed somebody and you know that you were killed and all this other past life stuff that that is meant to be in the past but is meant to be learned from in the present and um, and appreciated you know saying okay I learned that that experience it taught me this um, it taught so and so this that's fine that's good um, okay time to move on in my life and to progress as, as a you know a soul as a human being yeah I think this is an incredible mystic sign and I think those who have this energy as they grow older will become just wiser and more mature and more loving than ever and will become true teachers of how to be infinitely compassionate for everyone you know including others of their own peer group maybe especially others of their own peer group and so my advice for you is uh, you know, if you are a Saturn and Pisces person who feels very much in tune with their emotions, their fate, their karma, and whatnot, um, and you have friends or whoever that has Saturn and Pisces in the, in the very much lower order, just the best way you could teach them is to not do it for them, not that that's even possible, but to just love them and to be unconditional in that approach and, um, you know, Show them the, the good part of that energy. And I think that's true for all energies, really. But it's always better to, to lend a helping hand to somebody who's being negative or mean or whatever than to take it personally or anything silly. But especially with Saturn and Pisces, I think that there seems to be such a disparity. Well, I mean, all, all signs have their poor you know traits but I think that the more loving Saturn and Pisces people there are loving other Saturn and Pisces people whether they're being loving or not I think the better for sure and I think that that'll help not only everyone of that peer group but everyone in the world how can that not help everyone in the world you know the more love the more positivity that's that's beautiful and again one of the best parts of this energy and what grows along with time as well is that solidity, you know? Again, Saturn is a very solid planet. Uh, okay, well, again, not literally. I think it's mostly gas. But uh, its lessons are very much solid. It forces us to learn things over and over and over again. We're forced to face certain things about ourselves, about life, about the universe. And um, when it's that real, when that lesson is that heavy, it sticks with you. It stays with you. You build a foundation with it. You're able to, you know, use it. And uh, it won't go away. And so, you know, this energy, as you grow in age, holy shit, there's going to be some amazingly mystical people with this energy who are uh, just fountains of Piscean beauty, you know, because they've traversed their own karmic depths. They've, or they've learned what they've needed to learn and now they just have love to give and just a, a pure blissful peace you know? and we always go through our challenges in life and again it's not we're like oh got it no, I'm enlightened you know it's never like that I think that's really funny um, I, and I had that con uh, conception too but it's funny to think that any human being would somehow I think enlightenment is just happiness is, is peace it's not like I mean you're still you're still in the the life of mystery you're still in the mystery life is mystery you know and it's exciting that way I think it should be that way 
And so I think as, as time goes on, you'll appreciate that paradox more and more of uh, being at peace and, 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 you know, very blissful with life, but also appreciating the mystery of never knowing what's going to happen next and always growing with that, you know? You never get static that way. You're always moving and, again, swimming that way. So I think that'll just get more exciting for you as time goes on, honestly. Especially since Pisces is so Neptunian and Jupiterian. <coughs> so keyed into higher consciousness and horizon expansion and whatnot that you'll just understand some insanely beautiful and, and interesting, insightful things about life. And you'll have them, you'll, you can teach them to us, you know, those who don't have this energy. And you'll see how... Uh, and how life is, is beautiful and how to make it even more beautiful through your emotional exploration and insights. So the last aspect I want to talk about of uh, this energy is um, when you're feeling restriction in your life in a very unhealthy way, like I was saying before, in a very like pressure cooker, not good situation, um, because Pisces is linked with the feet, I would really pay attention to your feet and their well-being uh, in, in general. It's good to, you know, wear comfy socks and shoes and whatnot so you're not, A, <laughs> um, you know, punishing your feet and or your emotions. There's incredible uh, sensitivity in the feet for everyone, but especially those with a lot of Pisces. Um, and those nerve endings, you know, connect to everywhere else in the body. It's incredible, really, how connected our bodies are. It's an interesting microcosmic view of the macrocosm. But, so it's really crucial to honor your feet, first of all. That's funny. Well, I say that every day. Uh, and to pay attention to, you know, if, any, if anything challenging is going on with your feet, like hangnails or whatever. I mean, stubbing your toes even. Whatever, anything related to your feet. Um, because that could be a sign of imbalance mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. It could be a sign of restriction in some way. Saturn um, shows very clear signs. You know, it shows very clear signs of when you're not meeting your contractual obligations, if you will. You know, Saturn is the planet of come here to learn. And there's, you know, other planets at play of Jupiter. Of come here to to learn and have fun, enjoy, and, you know, learn in a very different way. Saturn is you must learn to be practical. You must learn to get better. You know, it's some very serious lessons. And uh, it, it'll show you if, if things are out of balance, again, with your feet, most of all. And um, it's weird, too, because karma and your feet are linked. You know, I don't even know how necessarily that'll... Uh, manifest but please let me know if some you know you have a story about how karma and life and death and, and fate is linked up with uh, your feet if you have this energy i'd love to hear that it'd be so interesting um yeah i think that's all i have to say i can't really think of anything else one last word i guess is uh honor your emotions honor yourself know that there's a reason for everything Love yourself unconditionally, and you can learn to love others unconditionally. And when you love, you make the world a better place. You make the universe a better place. And we need you to be loving. You know, and that's true for everyone, but especially you guys, because you teach us how to be loving in such a solid way. It's very, uh, it's very wise, your love. Follow your dreams, too. Uh, I mean, in general, of course. But follow your dreams when it comes to trying to learn lessons about yourself, about karma, about past lives, about any of that. Yeah. Okay. Namaste. Namaste.